So today we're just gonna be hanging out and checking out my old med school, going to Georgetown to uh, drive around a little bit and check out some things. But uh, just relaxing today and uh, checking out a few things. You guys are gonna hang out with me. So here we go. So I'm here at my old med school, Georgetown University. Man, it's been a long time since I've been here. This is where I became a doctor and who gave me the opportunity to become a doctor. So thank you to people at Georgetown. But uh, it feels really good to uh, come back and check out uh, DC, my old stumping grounds. But this is where it all started right here at Georgetown University. So we are here on campus at the uh, med school, just came from the bookstore. Here's the, uh, the med school here. I'm not sure if the doors are open, but hopefully I can uh, convince someone to let me in. I'll show you some, show you our classrooms where we had class at. So this is the back of the med school here. Uh, Georgetown used to have a dental school a while back, but they currently don't. So it's the back of the med school. And then the library where I spent a lot of my time studying, the Dog Green Library. So we made it inside the uh, med school and uh, looking for the uh, different class pictures. So 2012, what year did I graduate? Um. Oh, shh. 2013. 2014. Is it, that's your year? You don't know what year I graduated? Sorry. <laughs> okay, wait. Oh, okay. The live, process of elimination. Wow. That right there is me, folks. Didn't have much hair on my head. I was stressed out. 2014 is when I graduated. So, let's uh, also look at my graduation. They have all the... Uh, the years up here, people who graduated, what years? Look for 2014. Oh, here it is, right here. Okay, where am I at? Right there in the back, sitting next to Cynthia. All, oh, the, all the tall people cute. in the back. <laughs> so. You should take a picture of Clinton tonight. Yeah, I'll do that. So here's one of our med school classrooms. This is where we took classes as a first year medical student. You can see all the seats in here. The professor kind of stood up here on this uh, board here and taught us. Um, I have another video about me not never going to a class during med school. It was the classes that weren't mandatory. And there were several classes that were mandatory, but for the most part. We didn't have to come to class if we didn't like to. So I'm gonna show you guys our classroom for the uh, for our second year curriculum. It's upstairs, here we go. Wow, this is new right here. There's a little board and table there to sit down. They have lockers, just like in high school. <laughs> I don't think I owned a locker, but uh, they gave us all lockers to put our stuff in. But. So I remember taking these stairs in between classes and also uh, going to the hospital. The hospital is connected to the uh, school, but uh, I spent a lot of time going up and down these stairs here. Nice little picture on our wall here. This is the uh, downstairs area where we hang out before class and, and this is our main classroom where we spent most of our time right over here. This 
in another classroom where we had kind of smaller classes, small groups in this classroom here. And then our big auditorium is right down here. Class in session is locked. Well, hopefully we'll be able to get in there. A little Coke machine right outside the, uh, the door. So this is our classroom here where we uh, received most of our lectures at. And as you can see, it's an upstairs and downstairs, so big auditorium. I used to sit way up top on the back row, way up top. <laughs> but uh, this is uh, where most of our lectures were during med school here. Professor kind of stood up here. You see how big this auditorium is here. Ariana, if you were in school, where would you sit at? Show me where you would sit. I'll be right up here. Oh, you big nerd. They don't have any left-handed desks? Oh, oh well, I'll be right here for my left-handed. This would be me. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So usually in the classroom, there were 220 med students or so. If everybody came to class and then 200 people who were getting their master's degrees and they took classes with us. Um, and also some post-bac students. So usually in this classroom, that's why the auditorium is so big, it's 400, 400, 450 people. So bring, like I said, brings back a lot of memories uh, being in this classroom. You know, med school is hard to get into. It's uh, extremely challenging in, in, in itself. You spend a lot of time kind of uh, learning, you know, how to be a doctor. And, uh, you know, brings back a lot of good memories just coming to the classroom and where it all started. So for those who you uh, are out there and trying to get in med school, either, you know, getting rejected or can't get in, Try a number of times, just keep going, because uh, you know I never gave up after getting rejected my first three years, and, and this is where I ended up at right here. So, um, kind of surreal coming back to this room. Man. A lot of great memories in this place here. I spent five years here. I did a post back my first year and then four years in med school. So I was in DC for quite a bit of time. Our anatomy lab is kind of right down that hall right there. But uh, it's where I used to sit, right before, wait on class to start and review review notes or review lectures, kind of go over. We had study groups in this area as well, so. So these are lockers for the uh, med students, usually first year med students, because that's when you learn your anatomy. And then the anatomy labs are kind of right down that hallway right there. You can see all the dirty scrubs just sitting out. So like I said, I really didn't go to class. I was, felt like I was more effective studying in the library or studying at home by myself. But um, when I did, I'm gonna show you guys where I used to sit at. Uh, this is a uh, LA-6, our big auditorium classroom. It's my seat right here. It's <laughs> where I used to sit and uh, listen to lecture when I did come to class. As you can see, we're on the top floor here. This is a balcony in a big auditorium. And, uh, a second ago, I saw you, I showed you guys the downstairs, but the professor would sit right there and go over whatever, anatomy, you know, surgery, rheumatology, psychiatry. And uh, this is uh, where I learned to be a doctor, so.
Last seat in the back. And the reason why I did that, because I can sneak in and sneak out of class real quickly. And um, I didn't like to be kind of distracted during lecture where people were talking or, you know, forming kind of groups and, and uh, it was really distractive to me. So I decided to sit in the back and by myself, but yeah, that's where I said that. For every med school class at the end of your medical school, you give a gift to the next oncoming class, the freshman. So I guess this class here, class of 2017, we just graduated, was that a year and a half ago? I guess they made this wall. So they didn't have this wall when I went to school here. And it's just, I guess, motivation that they can write for the first years or second years to do well on their exams. Uh, you're almost done, keep it up, it'll get better. Your hard work will pay off. And you know, just try to encourage the oncoming class. Shameless plug that I don't remember what our my class in 2014 did for the freshmen. I, I don't remember, but Oh, this is pretty cool here, man. Like I said, I didn't have this when I was here five years ago. So everybody's a little bit different. Uh, like I said, if I didn't go to class, and I thought that was effective for me, but uh, just figure out what learning style works best for you and how you learn best. If going to class works for you and you do well, then you know stick with that. But uh, find out what works best for you. If it doesn't work, get rid of it. If it doesn't, if it does, stick with it. So that's how I got through med school. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. A new video is coming every week right here at Georgetown, where I became a doctor. See you next time.